I did a video previously about having getting your sites indexed and getting your pages indexed. Um, and many people have come back to me and they've said that we've applied everything you told us to in that video, but we were not able to get our pages indexed. Now, as I said in the video, the vast majority of people should be able to get their websites indexed and get their pages indexed using um, the method I discussed in the video. And you can check out that video over here. Um, I have linked to it. Um, if that video does not work for you, for whatever reason, and there could be a myriad of reasons why that's the case, um, but if that does not work for you, then you can use Google's indexing API. And Google's indexing API is one of the most effective ways to get your uh, pages indexed, um, whether you're updating a page or you updated a page and you need to get it indexed, or whether if it's a, a new page that you've created and Google is not indexing it, or if uh, you go to Google Search Console and it says discovered, not indexed, um, then this method will work for you. Now, this method would also work for people who have new websites. If your website is under six months old, this website, uh, this method will still work for you. But I would not recommend that you use this until you use the methods discussed in the previous video, because there's a good chance is if you do this, um, and you start pushing all your pages through the API that Google may just blacklist you. And you do not want that to happen. So it's very important that you follow the steps of the previous video that I, that I discussed and then wait a week or two. And if your pages are still not indexed, um, which would be 20% uh, of the cases that may happen and for whatever reason that happens, then you use the method here. So I'm being very clear. If your website is, uh, for whatever reason, if your links are blacklisted or you're penalized in any way, um, you know, don't tell me because I've warned you about it. I've tested this extens extensively and this kind of thing does happen a lot. So um, use this as at your own risk. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, make sure that you're doing this right. So I'll go right into this also. If you like the video, like and subscribe. I do SEO for a living. Um, if you're looking for someone to do SEO for you, uh, get in touch with me via the link in the description. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I've um, logged into uh, my WordPress uh, website and I have logged into, uh, I've clicked on plugins right in the left. I have searched for SEO press. Now it's ar around the same process uh, as if you were using the Rank Math plugin. The Rank Math also has a plugin to do the exact same thing. But I found that the Rank Math plugin um, does not work as well um, for some reason. And there are bugs with the plugin. Um, it will cause my website to slow down uh, and there will be other issues. So I stopped using the Rank Math plugin. And for this specific website, I have chosen to use the SEO Press plugin because on the previous website, um, the SEO plug, uh, SEO Press plugin worked uh, perfectly. There were no bugs, there were no hiccups, and so I just decided to use uh, this specific plugin. So once the plugin is installed, um, we've gone ahead and activated it. Let me just take a quick look. The SEO press plugin is here. We do not need to go pro, so we'll just use whatever whatever's uh, on here. Um, we're using the free version, so we will use the free version here. All right, so once the plugin is installed, you go here to the left, it says SEO. Just go ahead and click here, and um, you'll go to instant indexing. Sorry, you should have gone to index, instant indexing. Um, and then you would um, go to settings over here. Okay, and this is where you paste the Google indexing API um, before you can do anything else. So I will now go ahead and show you how to generate the Google indexing API if you don't already have one generated. So you'll go to console.cloud. Um, you'll go console.cloud.google.com. Pretty long um, link. I'll put the link in the description um, so you guys can um, click on the link and just go ahead and create a project. Um, what we'll do here is we will create a new project. So go to new project. We will call this, we we'll call this copywriting services pro. 
and we'll just go ahead and create a project over here okay um, we've got select project okay and okay once your project is created um, you will need to create what's called a service account okay once your account is created you uh, once your project is created you go and you click on um, the dashboard so this is the main screen as they like to call it and you uh, search for indexing api it says you're in the marketplace it says indexing api you click here okay let's close this over here and um you'll do notify google when the web page so you'll do enable Okay, so once your project is created, it will ask you to enable um, your API. Um, and you go ahead and you enable it. Click the button here. If it's not enabled, you'll need to enable it. Once that's done, you go ahead and you close this tab. And now you'll need to create a service account. Uh, okay, again, the link is in the description. Once your project is created, when you click on the link to create your service account, um, this is where it will take you or me. Um, it is this website right here. So I want to create an API for this project. You can have multiple projects and you can have multiple websites. So I want to create an API for this one here right here. I'll click and I'll go ahead and create a service account. I'll give it a name. I'll write, write copy writing and I'll give it this name. I'll give it a description. This my copy writing service. This is my ID right here. I'll Create and co continue, and role will be owner. We'll go ahead and where is owner? Go ahead and owner, and click continue. All right, go ahead and click done. This is this is my um, service account ID. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on over here. I'll do manage keys and go ahead and add key and create new key we want a json file we'll go ahead and create that right here and it, it wants to download this to my uh, computer so we'll go ahead and allow it and also go ahead and also go ahead and close this real quick okay once this has been added um, the next step would be is to add this key to your Google Search Console. Okay, so I've logged into my Google Search Console. As you can see, performance for my test website isn't great, and that is to be expected because I hardly ever work on it. We'll go ahead and navigate to Settings. Then we go to Users and Permissions. I got Owner, Owner. Okay, we, new, we go ahead and need to add a new user. So we'll do okay, so it says here I need to enter a valid email address. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead to, and I'll go here and I've created this for Copywriting Services Pro. I'll go ahead and copy this. And I'll paste it into here. For permissions, I will do owner. So owner is permissions. I'll go ahead and add that so it says here now this is my owner now I'm pretty much done with working over here um, successfully added I can go ahead and close my Google search console okay so you might have remembered that we downloaded a JSON file when we created the key we need to open this as a text uh, as a text file go ahead control all copy this and now we're going to paste this into where I showed you um, that it's asking for a uh, API key. So we'll go ahead and paste the JSON file, open it as a text file, and we'll paste it here real quick. And we'll not enable this here because if, if you enable this, then each post that you publish is going to be automatically indexed. It's a little risky, which is why I do not do it. Um, go ahead and save changes. And it says your settings have been 
saved. So now if I go here, um, and I go to home, sorry, I go to general over here, um, it says instant indexing. I can use Google, Bing, because I just did, did it for Google, so I can do it for Google. And then I can submit my URLs over here. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you how this is done. Um, so what are my URLs? Is? This is one of my URLs. And I just recently updated um, this URL. So I recently updated this URL. Um, and I want, this to, I want Google to index this. So I'll go ahead and I will paste this over here. And I will do submit. It takes a few seconds and it says URL submitted successfully. Um, latest URL submitted is this. And you can just go ahead and save changes. And that's pretty much it, guys. So this is how it's done. It's, it's quick, it's easy, um, and it's clean. And I've not had any problems with this so far. It works perfectly. It takes around a few hours and your URLs are indexed. As you can see, it's a very easy process to use Google's indexing API and to use a WordPress plugin to just get your new pages indexed. And even if your website is new, then get your website's pages indexed. Um, but as I said, it has to be used with a great deal of caution. You just can't, um, you just can't you know, plug in 100 pages and get it indexed despite whatever the plugin says. You have to use it carefully and you have to use it responsibly. It's up to you to do that. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that um, if, if, you're, uh, if you're a relatively new website, um, make sure that your content is, good, is high quality, make sure you're getting enough backlinks, make sure they're interlinking within your website, and then use this method. Um, guys, if you like the video, like and subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.